Hey everybody. So we've learnt before that radiation is energy that's travelling through space in a stream like a laser beam. But scientists figured out that actually there's different types of radiation and they're not all the same. And there's three main types that we're going to learn about. They're called alpha rays, beta rays and gamma rays. So those people who know a bit of Greek or they speak Greek at home, they would know that these are named after the Greek letters of the alphabet. Alpha, beta and gamma, they're the first three letters of the Greek alphabet. We have alpha, beta and gamma. And remember we also learnt that radiation can either be a stream of waves of light energy or it can be a stream of particles. And two of these types are particles and one of them's waves that we're, um, that we're about to learn. Radiation can be particles or waves. So the first two we're looking at, alpha and beta, these are both streams of particles that start in that radioactive atom and then they are emitted from the atom and they fly away through space. And gamma rays, these are waves. So let's go back to alpha rays. Alpha rays are made up of a whole lot of these particles called alpha particles all flying through the air. And beta rays, they're a particle type of radiation too, and they're made up of a whole lot of these little beta particles flying through space. And actually, scientists discovered that beta particles, they're just free electrons. So it's almost like electricity flying through the air. It's a flow of electrons. And then gamma rays, that's waves of light. And remember from year eight when we learnt that light is part of this big category of energy that's called electromagnetic radiation. So remember that includes visible light that we can see. It includes gamma rays, it includes X-rays and radio waves. All these different types of waves are the same type of energy. All right, so that's the three types of radiation that we need to learn. And the last thing to look at is how dangerous actually are all these? Because we've probably all heard about radiation being dangerous, you might have heard or read a lot about the Chernobyl disaster, which was the power plant in Ukraine, and you would have heard about nuclear weapons as well. And these are all dangerous because of radiation. And really, radiation is dangerous because of energy. And Here's the energy level of the three different types of radiation here. Alpha particles, they have a pretty low energy. They fly through space, and as soon as they hit any kind of material, like paper or just clothing, or the skin of your body, they'll get stopped and they won't do any damage. So, alpha particles are not dangerous because they don't have much energy. Uh, beta particles, they're a little bit higher in energy. You can say medium energy. And they'll go through paper, but they'll get stopped by a thin sheet of aluminium metal. So like tin foil from the kitchen. So they can actually go through your skin into your body, 
so they can be dangerous a little bit. Uh, but the really dangerous type of radiation, and this is the one that we've all heard in popular culture, this is what comes from nuclear weapons, gamma radiation is the dangerous one. So it's a really high energy form of light. So high energy that it will fly straight through paper, through aluminium, even if you had a really dense material like lead or uh, concrete is also needed. Even some of it will get through lead, so you need to use a really thick layer of lead or concrete. And this is how, this is what they built all the bunkers and the structures out of when we had the Cold War, which is in the 20th century and countries were worried that there'd be a nuclear war. So they built lots of bunkers and structures from with really thick walls of concrete and lead so that people could hopefully be protected from gamma radiation if any nuclear weapons went off nearby. So that's the three main types of radiation that atoms can undergo. There are other types, but we'll start, we'll stick with these three for now.